So let's go ahead and build a little bootloader. So for this, I'm going to use NASM, the NASM assembler, and x86 assembly. So let's go ahead and start with the bits command. And this is 16 because we're, we are running in real mode. So everything is going to be 16 bit. Afterwards, I'm going to use the org command. And I'm going to write 7C00 here because when the BIOS goes ahead and loads your code, it loads it at this address in memory. So everything here needs to be relative to this address. So this way I'm telling NASM to work like that. And afterwards, I'm going to start writing the actual code. So I'm going to head and move 0 to the SI register. I'm going to use this as a counter to print the characters. And then I'm going to open up a label, which is going to be my loop. And I'm going to go ahead and print each character. So for this, I'm going to use uh, one of the int 10 interrupts. It's going to be the video services. I have the interrupt I want to use right over here. It's the actual service. It's going to be the service that prints characters on the screen. So for this, I'm going to set AH to 0E. And this means I'm going to call this specific function to print the characters. And then I'm going to put in AL, the actual character to write. So first of all, let's define the string. So I'm going to just make this little string here. And just going to say, hello, world. You can put zero here. And now I can actually use this uh, pointer and move it inside AL, specific character. So the character is going to be actually uh, the pointer to the string plus the SI register. So that's how we're going to get each individual character in the string. And we're going to use the round brackets right over here to convert it to uh, the actual content of the memory and not just use the address. OK, and after these, we can actually uh, trigger the interrupt. So just go ahead and, and trigger interrupt 10, which is the video services interrupt, which includes this function. And now I'm going to increment SI by 1. And I'm going to check to see if the memory contains 0. And if it doesn't contain zero, I'm just going to go ahead and jump back to print and print the next character. So this is basically going to end when we're reaching zero. So this code needs to fit inside a 512 bytes sector. So because of that, we need to use some fillers right over here. So I'm going to fill the, the whole section with zeros. And I'm going to use it, do this using the times command, which is a NASM command. And I'm going to do this for 510 minus, and then I'm going to take the current position of this line. I'm going to subtract it from the position of the start of this program. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this with zeros. So what this line basically does is fills for the rest of the program with zeros. So this will fit inside the sector. Now, why is it 510 and not 512? Because right after this, I'm going to use the DW command, define word, and I'm going to put in the following hex. This is a magic that every uh, x86 boot sector has to finish with. And this takes exactly two bytes, so that's why it's 510 and not 512. Now let's go ahead and just uh, review this program. So this is going to be 16-bit. It's going to start in, on this memory address. We're going to set SI to 0. So it's going to be our counter. And then I'm going to call the character printing interrupt. I'm going to pass in the character from memory. I'm going to trigger the interrupt. And then I'm going to add 1 to the counter. And I'm going to check if I have reached the end of the string. And if I didn't reach the end, I'm going to go ahead and loop again through this code. 
Oh, and one more thing. After the code finishes, I need to go ahead and put an infinite loop right over here. So it just doesn't go ahead and continues running afterwards. Dollar means the current line, so it's just going to go ahead and execute this line over and over. Okay, and afterwards I have my hello world right here in memory, so I can reference it in my code. Then I have this filler, which is going to fill this the rest with zeros, and the magic, which is necessary for the boot code to actually work. And uh, one more thing, I need to go here to line 11. And I need to go ahead and specify that this operation is going to be for the specific byte in memory, because you need to tell NASM how to compare this memory, because it can compare also with larger sizes in byte. And this is going to just be with the byte that is in that memory. I'm going to compare that with zero. Let's go ahead and save this. And now let's go ahead and assemble this. So first of all, run NASM. Now to run this, I'm going to use QEMU. This is an emulator for a bunch of architectures. I'm going to use the i386 one to actually emulate a x86 computer booting up. And I'm just going to pass in the binary that came out of NASM. As you can see, the bootloader is successfully running and printing a low world on the console. Don't forget to subscribe for more assembly. Thanks for watching.